If you follow the setting sun west on I-40, about 20 minute drive from world class skiing in Steamboat Springs, you'll find a cool and quiet little town called Hayden, Colorado. Named after Ferdinand van de Veer Hayden, a scientist who came to survey the mineral wealth of the area in the 1870s, members of the Hayden Survey camped in the area in 1873 and 1874. The first post office was established in 1875, but Hayden wasn't incorporated until 1906. With the arrival of Samuel and Mary Reed in 1880 marked the beginning of Hayden's recorded history. William Walker, who was born in North Carolina, was lured to the area by his brother-in-law, Samuel Reed. He came to Hayden in 1881 after preemptively filing for 160 acres of land where he built his cabin. Ezekiel Shelton, who is shown here with his wife Mary, was investigating reports of coal when he came to the area in 1881. James Norville, in the white hat, was a cowboy, mail carrier, merchant, and was known as the Cowboy Preacher. Early Hayden pioneers in this photograph showed the hot, dirty work of branding in the western portion of Route County around 1890. These small wagon mines supplied coal by the wagon load. By 1894, businesses lined the lane between William Walker's ranch and his pasture south of town. Henry Kitchens married William Walker's niece, Sarah, in 1893, and a year later he built the first livery barn in Hayden. John Turner owned the first restaurant in Hayden. The building next door was Rube Wiley's Saloon. J.L. Norville's General Merchandise Store was started in 1895 and had one of the first three telephones in Route County. Dr. John Vernon Solent, a Canadian, arrived in Hayden in 1898. He often made long trips to visit his patients. One night, while returning from a call, the headlights went out on the automobile that he was in and the car rolled. Dr. Salant died of his injuries and the community never forgot the doctor. After World War I, the community rallied to build this hospital that would bear his name. The Salant Hospital building still stands today on a hill overlooking Hayden. Ed Stees Wright was paid $65 a month for teaching a four-month term in 1889 and 1890 at the first permanent schoolhouse. Businesses and people who did not have their own wells got their water from the town pump. It sat squarely in the intersection below the Oxford Hotel. The Oxford Hotel was first known as the Hayden Hotel in 1902, and it was one of the finest in the country. In the fall of 1905, residents began laying in a supply of venison for the winter by camping near the paths that deer followed. Frederick Jewelry Store and Optical Parlor opened in 1909. Around 1916, Adolf Frederick added a drugstore to his business. In addition to patient medicines, he also sold veterinary supplies, house paint, and insurance. He even developed film and repaired cameras. This 1913 view shows West Hayden before the arrival of the railroad. Kleckner's grocery store and hardware store was also built by George Kleckner in 1909. Hayden was a bustling town when this photograph was taken in the summer of 1919. The square building you see on the right side of Walnut Street was a mission hall built by William Walker in 1903. In 1910, it became a pool hall run by Roy Busick. One evening, Busick and two of his friends, desiring something stronger than soda pop, consumed a great quantity of hair tonic that contained lead and other toxic ingredients. 48 hours later, the three men were dead. Hayden got its first lawyer in 1912, when Ferry Carpenter opened a law practice in the former one-lane bowling alley next to the Yampa Valley Bank. J.J. Argo led a crew of men to survey the rail lines prior to the tracks being laid. When that first train came to Hayden in 1913, most, if not all, of the children in this photograph had never seen a train before. Since the town had no depot, the first passenger train stopped at the present Walnut Street crossing. Henry Summer from Sydney, Colorado formed a partnership with his brother-in-law George Kleckner in 1910. Summer operated the meat market in Kleckner's City Grocery and Meat Market on Walnut Street until 1913. Bank employees posed at the grand opening of the new First National Bank of Hayden in February 1915. This 1916 photograph shows Hayden's baseball team at the fairgrounds in Hayden. Potatoes became a cash crop after a carload of seed potatoes was shipped into Hayden by rail in 1914. Hay was also another cash crop for the farmers in the Yampa Valley. Hay stackers were usually homemade as seen in this photograph in 1915. The Railroad Days celebration held in 1913 was so successful, the Route County Fair and Racing Association was organized in November 1913. In 1917, the girls basketball team posed for this photo. 
The Hayden Cooperative Elevator was built by a company from Wichita, Kansas and was completed in December 1917. In 1918, when Hayden finally got a depot, Robert McConnell was the first occupant of the new depot. As the town continued to grow, this tennis court was built on Jefferson Avenue on a vacant lot. The young women of the Ukulele Glee Club performed and drove around in the evening serenading the community in this 1920 photograph. After a Union High School district was formed in 1919, the district voted to build a new high school in West Hayden. And here's the Hayden Union High School band playing outside. This gentleman backs away from the steam of an overheated radiator while traveling over the Rabbit Ears Pass. And he probably got his vehicle fixed at the Hayden Garage which was also known as the Studebaker dealership in 1924. Carl Fink's Barbershop was one of the first businesses in the new Jaboni building that stretched from Walnut Street to the alleyway. The boys basketball team from Hayden Union High School won the Yampa Conference title in 1928. But for three years in a row, the girls high school basketball team won the Yampa Valley Conference title. This is a 1935 photograph of the interior of the Republican newspaper building. The town of Hayden survived through the Great Depression. Businesses closed, new ones opened, but life continued to press on through. Fast forward to 2021 and Hayden is more alive than ever before. It's business as usual for these local farmers. These rally cars cruise down the center of town and fuel up at the local come and go before heading for California. Locals enjoy the annual COG bike ride and play games at the county fair. This beautiful place has withstood the hard test of time and continues to serve as the heart of the Yampa Valley. Whether you're looking to enjoy the fall colors, play in the leaves, climb a rock formation, get a haircut by a skateboarding barber, a walk with your best friend, or you're just driving through. If you follow the setting sun west on I-40, you just might be able to catch one of the most beautiful sunsets in a cool and quiet little town called Hayden, Colorado.